Hey guys, welcome back to Econ Class. Today we're gonna to be looking at an FRQ from the 2008 AP Micro exam. This is the number one question, so it's the long one. Now, this is going to be a perfectly competitive question. We got Callahan's Orchards, grows apples and operates in a constant cost, perfectly competitive apple industry. Callahan's Orchard is currently in long run equilibrium. So we have our starting point. So now what part A wants us to do is draw a correctly labeled side by side graph for the apple market and Callahan's Orchard and show each of the following. So we need to get these two models up there. So we got our side by sides. We need our labels, price and quantity. Make sure you're putting them on there. We got our market on the left and we got our Callahan's Orchard on the right. Now it's easier to start with the actual firm and then move to the market afterwards because it's a little more difficult to get the point where you want your cost curves to be. So start with your MC curve, throw your ATC in there. We know that we are going to be producing because it's long run equilibrium where MC equals ATC equals MR. All right. Now we're going to take that marginal revenue, that price the firm is at, and we're going to throw that over to the market. Now the market determines where the firm's at. It's just when we draw this in an FRQ, it's nicer to start on that side, especially if we know we're in long run equilibrium. So get our demand and our supply curves up there and let's throw our quantities. Quantity for the market, quantity for the firm. Now at this point, we got everything they've asked. We've hit part I, QM and Q, or PM. And then we got Callahan's output and price labeled as QF and PF for part two right there. Now part B, like these questions so often do, add some sort of tax or subsidy into this situation. So we've got our side by side models here. Now for part B, you don't necessarily need to illustrate any of this, but I got the models there just to explain it a little bit better. So now assume that the government provides farm support to apple growers by granting an annual lump sum subsidy to all apple growers. So it's important it's lump sum versus per unit. Very, very important. Indicate the effect that the subsidy would have on each of the following in the short run. Now, all that the question has you do is answer this. It doesn't have you draw the model. You have your model drawn up above. You do not need to shift it. I'm just, I have it here just for the illustrative purposes. So for part I, Callahan's quantity of output. So when we have a lump sum subsidy, What's actually going to happen in the short run is we're going to see the ATC curve drop down because the average total cost of producing at any given level is going to drop because we got this huge subsidy. It helps us produce. It cuts down the cost. Now, so what is happening to our output because of that? Nothing. Quantity of output does not change. The only thing that's going to shift the production levels at the firm level is either if marginal cost shifts or marginal revenue shifts. Those are the two curves that determine where we produce, MC equals MR. Callahan's profit, all right? Our ATC now is much lower than it was at the profit maximizing quantity of output. So we now have an increase in profits. We were at long run equilibrium, zero economic profits. ATC went down, so we know we're gonna earn at least some positive economic profits. Now, the number of firms in the industry. So in the short run, the number of firms remain the same, all right? The number of firms changing on the market side is a long run impact, all right? So make sure you're paying attention, short run versus long run. Very important to differentiate between those two. So while part B only looked at short run impact, part C is gonna take us to the long run. How does this lump sum subsidy impact the market and the firm in the long run. So the first thing it has us identify is the number of firms in the industry. How will that change? So because there's that profit incentive now, Callahan's Orchard, the individual firm is earning a profit. Other possible firms see this and they join the market. So this is gonna shift our supply curve to the right. The number of firms is going to increase, shifting that supply curve to the right, as positive economic profits provide incentives for new firms to join the market. Now, what is gonna to happen to the price at the market level, okay? The price in the market level is going to drop. Because of that increase in supply, we have a new equilibrium. PM2 is our new price, lower than what PM was. This is also gonna drop the price for the firm. The firm is gonna have a lower price now. What will happen to the industry output? Now, it's, it's important, when it says industry output, we wanna look at the industry output. So when we look over here on the market side, we see that the quantity has increased. If we go over to Callahan's, we'll see that the quantity actually decreased from where we were at before, 
but we have new firms joining the market. That lower price might drop Callahan's quantity, but it's gonna increase the entire market. So make sure you're paying attention to, is it the industry, is it the market, or is it the individual firm? How will they be affected? All right, guys, hopefully you got something from that video. If perfectly competitive markets confuse you a little bit, go back and check out my lecture video on perfectly competitive markets. Now, also make sure you're checking out my other FRQ walkthroughs. I got quite a few of those out there. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.